Good morning again. This is Brian Weber with another YouTube video on the Tops of Trader platform. In this one, we're going to talk about one of my favorite features that Tops of Trader platform offers, which is the chart replay. And it's going to be a pretty short, quick video because it's actually a lot easier to use than the Sierra chart platform, which is what I use to trade with. And it has the same functionality as Sierra chart where you can go back and replay live data where you can actually take the trades in real time more or less but it's a lot easier to use than sierra chart so all you pretty much do is you come up to here and click where you have the account and there's this tab called go to replay just simply click that it brings you to another page to pick the parameters to start the replay so i'm going to keep the start date and the start time the same and the speed you can adjust it once you start it Initial balance, that's up to you if you want to adjust that based on the day that the balance was at when you were trading. And another nice option they give you is to replay my trades. So it actually, I don't think Sierra Chart does this when you're doing the, the chart replay, but with Top Step Trader, you're actually able to see when the replay is playing out. If you took a trade that day, at a specific time and the replay rolls past it, it'll actually show you, um, it'll enter the trade for you and show you where you actually entered. So you can study that uh, if, it was a, if it was a good trade or if it was a bad trade, you can learn from what worked, what didn't. So it's good to see from a different perspective when you're not actually trading live, where you entered and why you entered and try to analyze, you know, to maybe improve as a trader. And then you select the account to replay. That's the only one I have and then just click start replay and that's it. And then Top Step Trader will load for you. And you can see at the top right here, you can see the R in parentheses that's flashing slowly is, gives us an indication that we're in chart replay and the time is 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And the speed is at 150%. So here, this is the play button which is just the greater than sign. And then the pause sign will actually pause the replay. You'll see it's updated here. So if I wanna click play again, just click play over here on the left, and then we're moving again. And this speed, you can adjust it to using this slide bar. So we're gonna move up to three times the actual speed. And you can still click the replay my trades if you forget to do it initially. Um, it's pretty simple. And then, yeah, so if you want to trade, it's the same as if the market was open. So I can go down and can configure my OCOs. I can actually take trades. Say if I want to buy this right here, let's just do a buy market. So I'm actually in the trade right now. You can see that's actually filled. And the open PL and the total PL will update. But one thing to note is that if I click the account up here, or actually, uh, you have to click the daily loss limit to bring up the actual performance orders and all this stuff in the account reports. It's important to note that this doesn't actually work in the chart replay. So if I click go, it's not supported. So the only thing you really get is a total PL and the open PL, which is fine. That's all you really need to uh, take a look at your trading performance when you're doing this back trading. So I'm going to exit that trade. So that's pretty much it. Everything will work the same as if the market's open and the chart replay. So if I want to go back to the combine or your pro account, so you simply click this X and the chart replay box at the top right, and that will bring you back to this screen and back to where you could start another market replay. But if you want to go back to the combine or the trial or the pro account, whatever you're using, you just click the second button there and that'll bring you back to the original setup or we'll have the most recent data. So that pretty much wraps up how to use chart replay. It's pretty simple. If you guys have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, just give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. You guys rock. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, just go ahead and click the logo that's popping up now. And I'll see you in the next video. Where we're going to talk about how to create, save, and use workspace templates. So save us a lot of time in this platform. All right, guys. Take care. Bye.